Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the virtual MIDI keyboard in Reaper. Now I have a project in front of me here, and I want to record some MIDI information or a MIDI part. I've already created a track with some samples like kick, snare, claps, some hi hats, a loop, a bass synth, a melody synth, and a guitar. So I want to trigger this with a MIDI keyboard. But unfortunately, I don't have one. But that's okay. We can still trigger MIDI with the virtual MIDI keyboard. Let's take a look. So we can go up here to the view menu and go down here and choose virtual MIDI keyboard, which we could also open up using the keyboard shortcut on PC Alt B and on Mac Option B. If we choose it, it opens up the virtual MIDI keyboard. And as you can see, our keys on the computer keyboard line up with the MIDI, like Z, X, C, V. And for the black keys, we have S, D, G, and so on. But notice, it only triggers about two octaves. So to choose different octaves, as long as we turn this option on, we can use the arrow keys to change the octave, lower or higher. But we could also use the option here to center the note by right-clicking any key. So if I right-click C3, it puts C3 over here, or C4, or C3, C2, or you can just use the arrow keys, which will make it easier to play across the keyboard. Because as you'll see with this sound, we have samples across many octaves. Now to get this to work on this track, make sure it's in record and set the input not to my USB MIDI keyboard as we don't have one, but to my virtual MIDI keyboard. I'll choose all channels. And now with the track in record, we could trigger the samples with our computer keyboard. And for the sound we're using now, if we hit Q, it triggers the kick. If we hit W, it triggers the snare. E is the clap. Five is the closed hat. And seven is the open hat. But again, we could change the octaves we're playing and therefore the different samples we're triggering if we use the arrow keys. We have our drums in the second octave. We'll switch it down an octave for our bass. We'll go up two octaves for our loop. Up another octave for the melody synth. And up another octave for the guitar. Let's put it back to centering the drums over here. Now the only negative of using the computer keyboard as your MIDI device, there's no velocity on the input. In other words, if you play the key soft or hard, it sounds the same, but we could always edit the MIDI velocities later. But otherwise, we can still do all the same things. Now the window right now is floating, so we can move it anywhere we want. If we want to dock it, we could right click and dock the virtual MIDI keyboard in the docker, which puts it down here, or we can move it to the left, right, or top. Let's float it again by dragging this out to here. Now it's floating again. Now if we right click, there's another option we should know. Send all keyboard input to virtual MIDI keyboard. What that's gonna do, if we turn it on, even if I click over here, putting the virtual MIDI keyboard out of focus, if I trigger my computer keyboard, it's still gonna play MIDI. So for clicking to different areas of Reaper, it's still going to work. Although the window 
doesn't need to be open or visible. But by default, this is off. So you have to have this window in focus. If I click over here and hit that Q key, it opens up the quantize window. It doesn't trigger MIDI. So if you find it annoying to have to click this window each time, just turn on Send All Keyboard Input to Virtual MIDI Keyboard. But keep in mind, while that's on and this window is open, you won't be able to trigger any other Reaper actions with these computer keys. They're going to play MIDI instead. So what I prefer to do, let's turn this off, is to put that option in the toolbar when I'm using the Virtual MIDI Keyboard a lot. So I can right click, go to Customize Toolbar, go to the bottom and add an action, type in Virtual, and choose that option right here. Double click it, and it puts it at the bottom. Let's right click it and give it an icon. Let's use this keyboard. And now we save it. We have a toolbar button up here. So if I choose it and it turns on, we know anytime I use my computer keyboard, it's going to trigger MIDI, even if I click to a different window. But when I'm done recording, I could just turn this off. And now, only when this window is in focus is it going to trigger our MIDI. Otherwise, it'll just trigger Reaper's actions. So let's record some MIDI. And move this down here. Our track is in record. And let's start recording multiple passes. And I'm going to use the recording mode, record MIDI, overdub. This way, we can record multiple passes, and it's not going to erase the previous one like this. We'll start with kick and snare, which for this is Q and W. Perfect. Now I'm going to add in the clap using the computer keyboard E. Now I'm going to add in my loop, but instead of moving over to here and hitting the I key, I'm going to use the arrows to move it to the center. So I could use the Q key again. Now to play the bass, it starts on C1. So again, I can't reach it from here. So I'll use the arrows. So now I can hit Z through C. Let's record the bass part. Now let's record the melody synth by arrowing up. So C4 is Q. But I forgot to record the hi-hat. Let's move back to C2. And I can use 5 and 7 for the hi-hat. And then finally, I'm going to arrow up. So that C5 is Q. I could trigger my guitar sample. And notice it not only records the MIDI notes, but also the length I play it. So again, 
we're only missing the MIDI velocities. But otherwise, we can use the virtual MIDI keyboard to trigger any MIDI in Reaper. So that's pretty much it. That's the virtual MIDI keyboard in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.